A bunch of us went to Hocking Hills recently for the annual campus ministry retreat with the Episcopal Diocese of the Southern Ohio. Some definitions for those who are new. The Episcopal Church is my denomination, the one I grew up in, the one I was ordained in as a priest. And the Episcopal Church is divided up in regions headed by a bishop called dioceses. And a retreat is an intentional time away from our regular spaces and patterns, not a time to do work, or rather a time to do the work of rest. Our friends up at Jacob's Porch at OSU call theirs an advance rather than a retreat, which makes so much sense. The more you know, right? So the theme of this retreat was wholeness asking the question, how do we not just balance but embrace all the different bits of ourselves and come to a place of peace? For me, simply by being in Hocking Hills, I find myself opening up and kind of settling spiritually. That region is sacred to me. But I also noticed a kind of wholeness present in our community there. Kiri made a delicious dinner for the folks who arrived early. One of her spiritual gifts is cooking, and she shares it with abandon. It feeds our hearts as well as our bodies. When Leah hurt her ankle, we rallied around her, bringing her ice and ace bandages and moving her couch so she could be part of our games and conversations. When I didn't drink enough water, as usual, and had a splitting headache, Gavin brought me water and caffeine and cool cloths. You all showed showed me how much you care for me. Wholeness isn't just about our individual health, though that's definitely important. It's communal. There are theologians who say that the body of Christ or if you prefer the sacred gathered community, isn't complete until we're all present. The kingdom or commonwealth or God's economy is lacking even if one person is excluded. We are all necessary, and how we treat each other is not just a rule, it's our response to that connection. How we care for each other, how we listen to each other, how we see the beauty in each other, just like we do with a cave or a waterfall or a tiny bit of moss, is a reflection of the divine. You are wanted and needed and loved. We're so glad you're here.